This week on QDL, we talk about careers in metrology. Do you like to measure things? Do you like to measure really big or really interesting things? Do you like lasers? Well, maybe a career in 3D metrology is in your future. Find out more when we come back. Welcome back to QDL. QDL is your weekly look at who and what is making news in the world of quality. I'm Dirk Ducharme, Editor-in-Chief of Quality Digest. And I think one of the more interesting measurement technologies that we cover in Quality Digest is 3D measurement. Uh, no offense to our friends who use microscopes, micrometers, and spectrophotometers, but seriously, scanning an object, even a really big object like a, a, like a building, and creating a 3D model of it never ceases to amaze me. I mean, it's just, it's really cool. Uh, or even on a smaller scale, taking 3D measurements with, with two or three micron accuracy of, of machined parts using a, a, a traditional uh, CMM, it's, it's pretty incredible. Well, if that interests you, then maybe a career in 3D metrology might interest you. Today, we're going to talk about careers in metrology with Matt Allardo from Brookhaven National Laboratory. Matt is also the Coordinate Metrology Society Executive Committee Chair. And also with us is Keith Bevan from the National Physical Laboratory in the United uh, Kingdom. Keith is the Coordinate Metrology Society Executive Committee Vice Chair. Uh, guys, thanks for joining us today. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Hey, no sweat. You know, um, I've said this before. I think the engineering and application of 3D metrology is, is just really interesting stuff. So Matt, give us a brief idea of what a 3D metrologist, somebody who works in this field, does for those who, who might not know. It's, it ranges anywhere from, like you had said, small measurements on small objects all the way up to large objects, building information modeling. That's all part of a 3D metrologist job. So they'll go out and they'll measure using a numerous different techniques and different pieces of equipment to measure size, height, complete 3D view of it. Um, as you had mentioned also, scanning is a large part of 3D metrology. Between scanning, laser trackers, portable CMMs, um, it's all some of the equipment that you'll use to physically measure the items, objects, small, large, um, as small as a dime or smaller, as large as a 10 story building. So anything needing measurement, 3D measurement, a metrologist would be involved in. And so, and this might be on the factory floor or it could even be out in the field measuring, I don't know, ships or radar antennas or something, right? I mean, it, it, it takes you all over the place. Yes, it does. We actually just performed some measurements on an old uh, smokestack that is part of a reactor that we have here. So anywhere from that size down to small, like you said, inside and out, you'd be using different types of equipment to perform the measurements. Okay. And, and Keith, I, I know this is kind of a, it, it's really a broad question, but what are some of the career opportunities in 3D metrology. I'm thinking of the, you know, the, the types of jobs and, and leave out delivering coffee to the senior metrologist. <laughs> yeah, that probably starts at the very beginning, but um, <laughs> exactly. yeah, um, yeah, it varies, you know, and it also varies from organization to organization because people have different terminologies for different roles. But you could start off on, on a, a measurement inspection type role. Um, you could also then uh, be, be doing things that are uh, measuring features, on, as, as you've mentioned already, on ships and, and working in those roles that could be a programming role, it could be a quality role, it could also be a calibration type role. There are a real mixture uh, of types of opportunities for individuals to use. And I, I know, uh, Keith, um, a, a few years ago, we talked about um, how the older metrologists are, you know, they're retiring and that there seemed to be a shortage of people to fill those positions. Is that still, is that still the case or, um, 
or are we are are you as a as a uh, 3D metrology as a career is that beginning to see people come in and fill up those positions? The a lot of those positions, I think it's starting to change. Um, it's starting to change with the fact that you see activities such as let's say motorsport for example and people start to see some of the technology being used in some of these really everyday activities that you'll see on television so people start to see some real cool stuff so i think it's attracting a lot of younger um, people into um, our um, field um, but, you know, measurement never stops. We have to do every type of measurement. So I think that it's really important that it, it doesn't really matter where you are in your working life. Metrology is cool. And, and so, Keith, obviously you're, you're in the UK. Um, Matt, is that the same, uh, kind of the same issue going on here in the United States as well? In terms yes, of filling and, those positions? Yes. And like Keith said, with the different technologies and now especially the things are more computerized and with the scanning a lot of the younger kids are getting attracted by the scanning aspect of it where it's almost like a video game to them and for them to be able to piece it together where video games and stuff like that and all the computer animation and movie animation is done largely with photogrammetry from 3d metrologists or scanning from 3d metrologists that's also bringing a lot of the younger folk because of the technology combination from what they do normally across the board. And what's, what's going on, um, uh, Matt, here in, in the States, if anything, <laughs> what kind of efforts are being made by industry or, or by organizations to try to bring people make them aware of this, this job, 3D metrologist, or even just metrologist, and bring them into the field? What kind of promotion is being done? What kind of outreach is being done? Uh, where can people go if they're interested in this type of job even? Well, one of the main aspects is STEM. And the other one that we deal with a lot is through the shipbuilding. So we have the Newport New Shipbuilding where they're sure. doing apprenticeships, which helps bring a lot of people in. There aren't many colleges that offer metrology but it's starting to catch on a little more i know we have a partnership with north carolina and they're helping bring the awareness and get metrology out there as well and and what about in the what about in the uk there um keith well in the uk something that's always been big has been apprenticeships so um, different organizations have different types of apprenticeships. And uh, in the last three to four years, there's been a real push on metrology to the point where there were two new standards that were approved by the government for both technicians and senior technicians in the metrology area. So it gives quite an option for individuals to target this as a career. And I should say both of you work for, both of you work for labs. Um, and it, it, to me, there, so there's kind of two career paths, I guess, uh, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, is you could be a metrologist working within industry, or there's also kind of, I don't know, I guess either Brookhaven or NPL, kind of the, the R&D side of it, the, the science of technology, would I, would I be right about that? I'm sorry, the science of metrology, would I be right about that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah ex exactly. Yes, exactly. And, uh, but what I would say is that just from, from my own perspective, um, when I, I first started with metrology, I, I started in industry. Okay. And so I've worked my way through different industrial types right up to the point where you're in uh, uh, research and development. So it, it's varied. And, and that's the one good thing about metrology It's completely varied. But you could also think along the lines that obviously where we're talking about 3D metrology, we're, we're in the, the linear stroke dimensional field. Uh, but there are lots of other areas of metrology that are very, very popular and very effective and important to us in our daily lives. Well, Matt, um, you and Keith and several others, uh, Joe Sable of Newport New Shipbuilding, you, you just mentioned there's a, a really big, huge apprenticeship program over at Newport News. Uh, Gary Convalone, uh, Confalone of, of East Coast Metrology and, and a host of other people. You guys are going to be giving a live metrology career workshop 
or, or several workshops on September 9th, 16th, and 23rd. Uh, Matt, why don't you tell us a little bit about what that will cover, what people would, uh, would gain from that? So we're going to try and break it down where it's different aspects of, of metrology career. So we'll have every, everyone from, say, Gary Confalone, who works for a service industry in metrology, myself and Keith, who work for a laboratory in metrology. And we're even going to try and get in some of the manufacturers and the software engineers and those types of people, just to give everyone an overview of the different types of careers. It's not just, okay, you're going to be out in the field taking measurements. It goes from being in the field taking measurements, doing R&D, like you said, working for a government agency, being the person behind the design of the software and the hardware. So it's a broad overview of all the different careers you could have in the metrology field itself. Yeah, and did, did you want to add to that, Keith? Yeah, I, I think um, I think giving experiences as well with on top of what Matt says, you know, um, how, you know, for myself personally, 45 years, I've been doing this. So, you know, and how things have changed over those 45 years and what a career it's given me. And I think really explaining the benefits of this and uh, as a career and giving a little bit of advice, if you like, or experience, but, um, you know, without wanting to sound too condescending about it, but to try and get people engaged in such a wonderful industry. Okay. Well, uh, Matt, uh, Keith, uh, guys, thanks for, for joining us uh, today. I appreciate that. And uh, I do Thank encourage you. everybody to check out uh, the Metrology Career Workshop that, uh, that Matt and Keith were just talking about. They're going to be presenting on it. Uh, and we mentioned, I think there's another like six or seven other people uh, that are going to be on there. That's uh, September 9th. 16th and 23rd and you get more information and register for the series by clicking the link below the player page there there's there's actually quite a few series going on this happens to be one of them there's actually uh, several things going on there including one that's actually dedicated toward women in metrology if you happen to be a woman and you want to know uh, kind of what kind of support and what's going on for women in metrology there's a webinar on that as well so uh, that is it for our show for today. As usual, if there is someone or something you'd like to see in the show, uh, some topic you'd like us to cover, just send those ideas to us at qdl at qualitydigest.com, and we will try to cover those topics on the show. So thanks for joining us, and we will see you on the next QDL. So long.